Hey guys, Zach King here with another Final Cut Pro tutorial. I've been getting a lot of questions about just the basics again in Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm here in Final Cut Pro 6, which you know is very similar to Express and uh, Final Cut 5, very similar. Just the only difference really between 5 and 6 is multi-cam editing, uh, camera smoothing, and a couple other features, but um, just minor ones. So let's go over some of the tools again. A couple people wanted to know how I change the opacity and also the volume limit. And if you click this little mountain button, it looks like a mountain. It's a toggle clip overlay overlay button. You're going to click it, and you see in your clips, you're presented with these lines. And these are your audio lines. And they don't move together. They're all separate since these are um, two mono tracks. And... We also have our opacity. Now I'm going to zoom out and you can see when I do this it goes down. You can turn it, you can fade out that way. So that's the opacity, that's how you change it. Now if you press P, which stands for pen tool, it's a shortcut for pen tool, which you can also find right here, your pen tool, P, you're going to select it and you can actually make points in my opacity like keyframing. It's basically keyframing your opacity to go down here and I'm going to have it come back up and then fade out. So watch what happens when I play this. It comes back up and goes down. Okay. Now I'm going to just keep those here. Now to get out of any tool, just press A and it goes back to your regular arrow. And let's do something on the volume here. Say I want to delete my entire audio track um, without, there's a couple ways to do that. You can go like this, select it, lock it, delete it, unlock. That's, I think that was like four steps right there. Simple is just to hold option and then select with your mouse what clips you want to delete. That's like three moves, so a lot quicker. And really, Final Cut Pro, um, is so great because and even you know any program Avid or whatever because um, you want to learn the key commands in any program get a lot faster it's a lot more helpful and ultimately it's about saving time editing you want to be quick not only a good editor but a good editor is also quick and can edit well quickly so using the key commands very helpful if you need to know what they are and learn them come up to your tools keyboard layout customize. There's an entire keyboard here laid out and it says what tools um, or what key commands there are on each. So A is the arrow button, S is uh, another tool and so on and so on. Um, let's look here. You have all these other combinations with shift um, and what they are. Um, shift option, you know, so all of the possible combinations are up here. If you want to change them, you can, uh, if I want the crop tool here, B, to move over to, um, I have it locked right now, which you can unlock it, clicking this button right here. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to change B and make that V. And there, now my V is a razor blade tool, but I don't want that. I'm going to reset it because I simply want everything to be normal because when I go on my friends uh, Final Cut Pro and edit for them or help them edit, or just edit on their computer, I'm going to be confused because they're most likely not going to be changing their key commands to the same ones I am. So, you know, try to learn the ones that are already there. They're there for a reason. They're very logical and uh, just keep them that way. That's my tip for that. Uh, let's see what else. I got another question on uh, color correcting. This is a whole other tutorial. But uh, come to your effects. Come down. And my favorites, I have it, the color corrector. But you can find it here in your video filters, color correction, color corrector three-way, drag it in, double click or select it. I actually had dragged one in earlier, but um, here's the one we just added. And, you know, we're going to go through this later, but here's all your effects. And also remember, it's hard to see, but there's this little arrow down here at the bottom. Click it and it opens up the limit effects which is a bunch of other cool things you can do so play around with it before the next tutorial of 
color corrector, and I'll do that in a couple days here. And uh, I think that was all the questions. If you guys have questions, inbox me. I can't answer all of them through inbox. It's a lot of work, so I'm not going to be doing that. But I'm going to try to cover them in the video. So FinalCutPro.com, still working on the website, getting up some more content. Um, subscribe if you like these videos, and I'll see you guys later.